Yes, YouTube Massive, we are back. Your boy was semi DJ Sava two British nerds. Literally just woke up. Usually I wake up at six in the morning, and um, I was feeling a bit really tired and really just fatigued. So um, I didn't get up early today. I just literally just got out of my bed. Um, I literally need to urinate because uh, yeah, yeah, it's that time of the morning. You know how we do. Um, but before I do that, I can still hold it. Ooh, thank you to the two subscribers that basically subscribe to my YouTube channel. Much love and respect to you, beautiful people. One of them I know. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Anyways, so basically, I don't have a fake 26,000k following on Instagram. I never did. And this isn't clickbait. It's literally my cousin basically tried to say that I have a fake following on Instagram. And this is basically the result. <laughs> say sorry. <laughs> Say, 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 say my followers are real. Say my followers. My followers are real. Are real. Okay. So basically, the issue was he basically has 125, 125 people following following him on Instagram. And he was like, you've got like, you've got so many followers, and uh, you know, like, can you please give me a shout? And then he looked at my following and he looked at my post and he was like, how, how do you have 26, 25,000 followers? And you're only having like about, you only have like about 100 or 200 likes. And I just didn't have, I couldn't explain the situation to him in regards to the Instagram algorithm and in regards to Instagram lowering, lowering its organic reach. So then he was like, ooh, but do you have a fake following? So I was like, all right, I have a fake following. So I pinched the tr I pinched it out and I was like, really? Is this what it is? Is this what you think I am and do? And then I was so happy after I pinched him because he finally I made him say it. We are back people. And regarding the bathroom situation, that was like about a few hours ago. I cut the vlog into two parts. So I'm back anyway on the vlog. How is everyone literally doing? Just came back literally from the post office. Of course, I'm rocking that Guardians of the Galaxy scarf which is a really cool scarf because it's got like as you can see it's got Groot over here it's got marvel over here and i've just come back like i said from the post office chilling like a marvel north african algerian villain you're all probably thinking what did i think of uh star wars you're probably not thinking that but let me let you know didn't like star wars um, i thought it was a disappointment it made no sense it just it was a really bad movie i'm not going to go into the whole mechanics of why I just want to delete the last three Star Wars movies out of my mind you know I give the first Star Wars movie being The Force Awakens a chance because you know it was a long time since we saw a Star Wars movie I thought cool you know and then The Last Jedi was just horrible it was just it was so bad and like um <laughs> The Rise of Skywalker was just so bad um so yeah um, I look forward to see what Disney does with I don't know with Star Wars seeing as now the whole Skywalker legacy is completely done, which we know it's not completely done because we all know somehow, somewhere, Mark Hamill, Luke Skywalker will come back. Who knows? Like, you can't kill the Skywalker legacy. That's what it's built on. But I look forward to see how they're going to move literally on. Haven't seen The Mandalorian yet. I need to watch it. I've been hearing so many good things about it. I'm going to watch it literally possibly from today. Also need to catch up on The Blacklist. And I'm good to go with my TV shows. And of course, um, Crisis on Infinite, Infinite Earths. I need to watch that. Haven't seen any of the DC shows apart from one episode of Arrow because Constantine was there. Loved Constantine until they cancelled it. My favourite DC show. Supergirl only saw episode one from season one. The Flash, never seen an episode in my life. And all of the other DC shows, never actually watched. And wait, Lucifer I watched about... I watched... The f nearly all of all of the episodes from season one I just dropped off. Um, I loved Lucifer. I just didn't end up watching it. Um, so I look forward to seeing what basically Infinite Crisis is gonna be like. And I guess the reason I basically said that, and you're thinking, hold on a second, why is he watching Infinite Crisis or Crisis on Infinite Earth? I always get mixed up. And if you haven't seen any of the previous DC um, TV shows, very very simple. I just basically wanted to see Tom Wheeling you know, play Clark Kent, Smallville. I wanted to see what was going to happen, what was going to transpire. Was he going to wear the suit? We found out he didn't wear the suit. And now he's basically dead because all of the multiverses and planets have been destroyed. But will he be back? Or did he actually survive and somehow save Lois and his children and is basically flying around somewhere? 
making a cameo at the end of the series to save the day or days. Who knows? We love him. He is the best Superman in regards to the TV shows. We have Christopher Reeves, Superman, and then we have Tom Wheeling, Clark Kent, Smallville. I mean, I, I enjoyed it because it was for the first time I watched Superman and I found him not boring. So Smallville was like just the build up to the Man of Steel and I loved it. So I look forward to seeing um, how it kicks off. Or maybe, sorry, I look forward to see Clark Kent from Smallville once again. Of course, shout out to Michael Rosenbaum. Like, like if I pronounce that right, hopefully I have, who plays Lex Luthor in Smallville. Totally sick. Loved him in the show. Like, smashed it. Amazing, dope. Just really loved it. I mean, I look forward to seeing him hopefully hopefully making a cameo or an appearance in some of the DC TV shows, a crossover. Or maybe, oh, just bring back Smallville. Bring back Smallville. Like, bring it back. We all want Smallville. Come on, give me CK and Lois Lane. It's so nice to be able to switch the camera on, basically, and just spit your truth. And regarding YouTube and what I want to put out on the content, as, as I've said, um, I just want to create daily vlogs, but I also want to be making videos around Marvel, DC, pop culture, movie reviews now and again, um, making it pop culture based, but also just keeping it to the substance, basically, of doing the daily vlog and spitting my truth. And of course, giving you some social media um, value, which is basically the experience that I've learned through social, the practicality, and basically, um, what do you call it? Um, applying that on video so everyone can get something out of it and it will help you to to um grow which reminds me i'm going to be doing basically a video next after this on the uh s this new filter that um uh that snap not snapchat that instagram has which is basically what marvel character are you and it's funny because now you look at instagram it's becoming like they've taken a chunk out of snapchat which is obviously the the snaps and the stories and they've started to take a chunk out of um um tiktok in regards to how they do their videos on tiktok is amazing i love it but that's pretty much what i want to speak to you but um i love what i do i hope everyone sticks with me every single day for more dope cool content videos ranging from daily vlogs marvel videos dc movie reviews um I don't know, hints and tips on like on social. I'm not having hacks and cracks on how to hack social, but basically just to do what you need to do to really understand the mechanics, basic substance of social media in regards to who you are, what you can bring to the table, what's your ambitions, passions, and how you can translate that through social by using basically the social media platforms here and storytelling your journey on, sorry, so, sorry, storytelling your journey via audio, podcast via video the vlog or just creating video content and of course photos taking a photo captioning it doing your thing or you know if you're an amazing writer and you love to write write a daily blog and that'll be literally you Ooh. so pretty much people um hope everyone is well and of course literally doing well as always smash that youtube subscribe button smash the youtube bell button make sure what else you do hit the thumbs up button um and join me on my daily journey on basically on YouTube. I guess question of the day, um, what was your favorite moment from this vlog? And quite simple, if that is not a question that you wanna answer, most, the most simplest question is, what did you think of today's new vlog? If not, drop your comments down below and let me know who you are, what you do, and just say hi in the comments, man. I'll say hi back at you. Peace out.